Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update July 22nd, 2019 edition. In this edition, The Exchange of Luck with Jerry Yan and Shen Yue. Another Me premieres and nothing but 30, but first. At San Diego's Comic-Con yesterday, Marvel revealed that Simu Liu and Tony Leung will play Shang-Chi and the Mandarin, respectively, in their upcoming superhero movie, Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings. Legend of the Ten Rings will be the first superhero movie to be headlined by Chinese actors. Man, what a moment. I want to give my biggest congratulations to Simu Liu, who is an Asian-Canadian actor based in Toronto. Now, most of you, especially those of you in the Far East, might not have heard of him before. The Asian actors community in Canada is pretty small, so as a fellow Asian Canadian actor, although I do not know him personally, I'd already known of him a few years back. I first heard of Simu when he started doing Kim's Convenience about three years ago. He plays Jung Kim on the Canadian sitcom. In this small community of ours, we notice when one of us is making strides, and Simu was one of those making strides. And strides are strides, we all wish to make them, but a life-changing role like this is the stuff of dreams. And I just want to say, well done bro, and all the best moving forward. According to Marvel, Shang-Chi is a master of Kung Fu who seeks peace and harmony in a weary world while opposing those who would tear it down. If you're a fan of Hong Kong movies, and I am a big one, you've probably seen a Tony Leung Su Wai movie at some point and just admired the charisma the man oozes on screen. I've long been a fan of Tony's since his early TVB days to his one of Hong Kong's finest leading men days to his mainland China production days, even though I'm not so fond of those ones. To be honest, it's been a while since I've seen classic Tony in a movie. And by that I mean something in the vein of what he did in Chungking Express in The Mood for Love or Infernal Affairs. I don't think we're gonna get classic Tony in the superhero movie, but nonetheless I'm excited for his first ever Hollywood movie. Tony's been quite selective of his projects in recent times, so I do find it quite surprising that he chose this one. Of course, the paycheck can be quite persuasive. I just never thought that his first ever Hollywood role would be of a super villain. I always thought it would be something more, I guess serious is the word for it, something where he could be nominated for a serious award or a major award. But who knows, he might get nominated for an Oscar for his portrayal as the Mandarin. Black Panther got nominated for Best Picture, so the Academy is taking things in a different direction. The Mandarin is a super villain and actually Iron Man's arch enemy. It will be the second time the Mandarin has featured in a Marvel film. English actor Ben Kingsley played the villain in Iron Man 3. The cast will also include Aquafina, who's probably best known for Crazy Rich Asians, where she had a supporting role as the female lead's bestie. Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings is slated for a February 2021 release. The Exchange of Luck is an upcoming modern drama starring Jerry Yan and Shen Yue, and they held their booting ceremony earlier today. Jerry Yan of 2001's Media Garden fame plays an arrogant chief editor who's famous for his good luck. Shen Yue of 2018's Media Garden fame plays an unlucky but quirky designer. An accidental kiss causes them to exchange their luck. So they're doing a bit of a switcheroo here, 2001's Dao Mingsi with 2018's Shan Chai. In a slightly related story, Dylan Wang and Barbie Xu will also star in an upcoming romance drama entitled If They Can Do It, We Can Do It Too. Just kidding. Jerry Yan, who wasn't present at the booting ceremony, is 42 years old, and Shen Yue is 22, so some fans are understandably concerned about the age gap. I didn't read the novel which this drama is based on, so I don't know whether an actual romance actually takes place between the two characters, but even if there is, I don't think there's anything to worry about. As long as it doesn't involve minors, I think love is love, and these days in dramas, anything goes. I mean, we've seen many couples with wide age gaps, and many times, it's the female that's older than the male, and it's good to see this mold get broken every now and then. On the topic of Shen Yue, her new show with Chen Duling and Other Me premiered earlier today on iQiyi. Anyways, I skimmed through the first episode, and it looks good. Brings back memories of A Love So Beautiful, where we see Shen Yue in school uniform. A big plus is that they use original voice. Voices, no overdubbing, so we get to see the performances as it's meant to be seen. Nothing But 30 is an upcoming modern drama starring Maggie Jiang, Tong Yao, and Mao Xiaotong, and it started filming yesterday. The drama tells the story of three 30-year-old women who break free from stereotype and begin to live life the way they want. There was some controversy surrounding the casting of this drama. 
Tong Lia, whose performance I really enjoyed in Nirvana and Fire 2, was initially cast as one of the three female leads, but shortly after the announcement of the cast, she decided to drop out. At the time, there was a lot of dissatisfaction with her character. She's supposed to be this strong and independent woman, and yet when her husband cheats on her, she tries desperately to cling on to her marriage. Some not-so-nice netizens even went so far as to say that Tong Lia was basically playing herself because her real-life husband, Cheng Sicheng, was rumored to have cheated on her before. Did she drop out? out because of these comments. According to her, it was because of time restraints and scheduling conflicts. I for one respect her decision. As long as she didn't break a contract and both parties agreed to it, who are we to say what she should or shouldn't do? But this does give me a chance to reiterate what we already know. Netizens can be brutal with their comments online and you need to have thick skin to survive in the entertainment industry. In any case, Tong Liya stepping down gave way for Tong Yao to step up. Tong Yao is fast becoming one of my favorite Chinese drama actresses. She was great in Evernight, and I particularly enjoyed her performance in Like a Flowing River as Yang Shuo's wife. She also bears a striking resemblance to Zhang Ziyi, which I'm sure she gets reminded of all the time. Kind of weird that I'm mentioning her last, but Maggie Jiang gets top billing in this drama. She's recently been in Novoland Eagle Flag and also has The King's Avatar coming up, which has really taken a while to premiere. Nothing but 30 supporting cast includes Eric Yang and Li Zifeng. Li Zifeng currently plays solo on Go Go Squid. A terrific actor he is. And that's it for today, guys. Give me your questions and thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe and like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!